Hello Timsi, you look elated. How was your performance? It went well. Thank you so much. You're welcome. See, I use the homonym well here. It has two meanings. One, that means good or perfect. Second is the source of water. Now I've understood homonyms. Great, Timsi, you are a quick learner. Hmm. What are you thinking now? I am thinking, is it possible to have words with same sounds but different spellings? Yes, why not? Let's watch this video to learn. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Enlightening World. In the last video, we have covered the topic homonyms. This is a kind of part 2 of that video. If you have not watched that video, go in the description box, the link is there or you can click the i button. Let me tell you guys that there is a contest in that video and lucky viewers can get exciting prizes. So if you have not solved that contest, go and solve because few days are left so hurry up. So friends, as Timsi wants to know that whether words with same sound but different spellings exist or not, so they do exist, we call such kind of words homophones. So if we break the term homophones, homo means same and phones means sound. So the words with similar sounds but different meanings and different spellings, they are called homophones. Only one thing is similar, that is the sound. Spellings and meanings are different. Let's get a more clear picture by learning or by uh, reading these examples. So friends, the first example is sun. One is with S-U-N, other one is with S-O-N. So they are, sim they are sounding similar, right? Do they have similar meanings? No. Do they have similar spellings? No. Do they have similar sounds? Yes. So S-U-N is a celestial body basically around which the planets revolve. For example, the sun rises in the east, S-U-N. The other sun, S-O-N, is the relationship of a boy with his parents or a man with his parents. For example, Shravan Kumar was a perfect son. Hope it is clear. Moving on to the next example, the next word is C. Sounding similar. One is S double E and another one is S E A. So they are sounding exactly similar, but the spellings are different and the meanings are also different. Let's see. S double E C is to watch something. For example, I can see you there. Num uh, the another one S E A is a large lake or a source of water. For example, he lives near the sea. Hope it is clear. Example number three is plane. We often get confused which plane to use where. And generally we get confused while writing the spellings of this word. So let's see. The first one is P-L-A-I-N. Another, another one is P-L-A-N-E. So now let's uh, look at the meanings. P-L-A-I-N means basic or very simple. For example, this dress is too plain. That means it has no design, very basic, very simple dress. The another one is P-L-A-N-E, uh, that is a mode of transport, air transport. That, uh, For example, she went Mumbai by plane, P-L-A-N-E. Hope it is clear. Moving on to the next example, the next word is peace. One is P-E-A-C-E -E, and another one is P-I-E-C-E. -E. So the first one, the meaning is a state of mind away from any kind of disturbance. Man ki shanti or shanti, that is peace. For example, meditation keeps our mind at peace. The another one is P-I-E-C-E, -E, that means a segment or a part from the whole. For example, let's cut the cake into six pieces. That means a tukra, small segment from the whole. Hope it is clear. Last but not the least, the word is eight. One is E-I-G-H-T, another one is A-T-E. So the first one, uh, everybody knows that it is the number 8, the, uh, the digit 8 basically. For example, there are 8 marbles in the jar. The second one is A-T-E, that is the past form of verb eat. Second form of the verb eat, that means khaya tha. For example, I ate lunch with my friend today. Aaj mein apne friend ke saath khana khaya tha. Hope it is clear. Today I have covered 5 homophones with you. 
So if you are aware of some homophones, feel free to share in the comment section. I will be elated if you'll do that. And uh, with that, you can you know help others to learn more homophones as well. Now for your practice, there is a worksheet in the description box where you can learn more homophones and where you can practice and you can become a master of the homophones. If you have not solved the contest in the last video of homonyms, do watch the video and solve that contest and win exciting prizes. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye-bye.